Hey, welcome. We've got Thomas Howe here. He is the creator, the father of the con. <laughs> of the con father? I'm the con father. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, I'll let Thomas introduce what Vcon's all about, uh, show you some of the resources and what he's looking to uh, have some hacks created about. So Thomas, over to you. Thanks, Alan. Uh, so welcome. Uh, my name is Thomas. And as Alan said, I'm I'm the con father. Um, so we're, we're going to be doing some things on Vcons this uh, this year at TadHack. And if you haven't heard of Vcons, let me tell you about them very quickly. A Vcon is a PDF for a conversation. It's a document format that contains a conversation. And by contains, I mean, it has the recordings of the conversation. It has who was in the conversation. And it has places for you to add in things like um, an analysis of the conversation, like a transcription or a summary, or here are some of the promises people made in the conversation. And it has a section for um, uh, attachments, the context of the conversation. So if, if Alan and I are talking and we record that, maybe we're talking about a presentation. The presentation could be an attachment in the VCon. VCon itself is um, designed to be tamper-proof and it's signed and you can you know, share it on a network and you can take the data in it and redact it so that you can know what's in it. And so we're gonna talk about that in a second. So we're all talking about VCons and the big thing about a VCon is it turns a conversation into data and data a robot can use. Uh, so um, so let me just share my screen for a quick second. Um, actually, so before I do that, uh, let me tell you about the, the hack this year. Um, so the, the big thing about a VCon is it st stands between two really important things. The first is to be able to take a conversation and use it like data so you can listen to what your customers say, but protecting the, the biometric information which is inside the VCon. The GDPR makes it really clear that there's special sensitive information that you have to be really um, careful in handling, things like your DNA and your medical records and your biometrics. Why? Because it, it's really difficult to change the way you look and really difficult to change the way you sound. Um, and the way you look and the way you sound can make you a target for bad people. You know, so the so the addition of AI, which is scalable, and the ability to target people based upon their looks can be a very dangerous place to be. So the VCons allow us to really take the data and manage it correctly. And by correctly, sometimes you want all the data because you're giving it to a judge. And sometimes you don't want any personal data because you're giving it to a product manager up in corporate. And they don't need to know who you were. They just need to know what you said. So those that that management of accessibility and privacy is the core of why the VCon exists. And it's a great example of what of what we might call AI governance at scale. AI is hard to govern because it's everywhere. Um, VCons allow you to govern the, the presence of personal information at global scale. So that's that's the big deal about that. So let's talk about the challenge. Uh, so this year, we have a, a really kind of a, a split challenge this year um, where we're looking for two different, we're giving out two different prizes um, and uh, they're related. Uh, so the first prize we're giving out is to um, the person team hack that can um, do go the furthest and do the best job at taking a, a VCon, which we will provide to you. So we'll give you the VCons. Um, that has personal information in it and to remove it, okay? So we're looking for a redaction. There's all kinds of ways you can do that. You can write some software. We have a conserver you can use and you can write a link to redact it. And we'll show you that in a second. So, so the first one is take a VCon and remove all the personal information from it. Now, to the extent you can do that, you're gonna win, okay? And personal information includes identifiers, um, phone numbers, social security numbers, but also, the way you, I look, the way the, the, the actual, if it's a video, if it's an audio, remember VCons handle all the media, right? It could be video, audio, whatever it's going to be. So that's the first one. Please remove data. Okay. First class. Second prize is the exact opposite. Um, detect the data. What personal data is in the VCon? So the second one is take a VCon, which may or may not have personal data and please identify which personal data is in there. Okay, and again, we'll give you a set of VCons and please run them through and tell us what you can find. And the point behind that is it, it can help you implement what's called a privacy, a personal information firewall. So I have a company, I'm a market research company. I wanna know what customers are saying, but I do not want their personal information. 
So what I could do is as VCONs come into my organization, I can use the second hack to say, is there personal information coming into me? I don't want it. Kick it out. Okay. So the second one is find it and list it. First one, get rid of it, find and list it. And then at the end, we're going to have a, we're going to have a war and whomever. <laughs> We're gonna have, we have like a rap battle, right? Yeah. Uh, so whoever, whoever wins, will you know, I'll, I'll buy him a Narragansett beer. Okay. So the that that's the final prize of Thomas and a Narragansett. So excellent. That sounds okay. great. Yep. So I have some resources here I want to show you really quickly to help you help you with your hack. So now I will share my screen. Uh, hold on. Share the whole thing. So I'll just be like that. All right. So um, first up, first of all, everything about the VCONs here um, uh, is open and open source. Uh, the VCON standard is an open standard. Um, if you're familiar with the IETF, we now have a working group at the IETF where we're trying to work and, and formalize our proposal for what a VCON is. Uh, we're meeting in, at, in Brisbane at I, uh, in March. If you happen to be in Brisbane, you want to go to the IETF, come on. We have VCONs to design. Uh, and, uh, and so we have a VCon uh, dev uh, GitHub. You'll have that link to you. Um, all the stuff that we we're showing you today is in uh, the VCon uh, repo. Um, and uh, in here are library to make VCons and the conserver, which is um, the thing which uh, the framework that sits next to a free switch or an asterisk or Twilio that takes conversations and makes VCons out of it. It's both right in here. The second thing I want to show you is um, the vcon uh, dot dev um, uh, documentation site. So uh, docs at vcon dot dev. That link will be there as well. And here are all the ideas behind the vcons. What is a vcon? Uh, what is the conserver? Which I which I talked about before. It's that framework that creates the vcons. Again, all, all open, all open source. How does it protect privacy and how does it enable AI? Okay. And then in inside here. Um, you have uh, a, a number of essays of the big picture of VCONs, what they are in a nutshell, um, you know, what each part means, why we have them, okay? So that's the second thing I wanted to show you. Uh, the last thing I want to show you is we also have a server available for your needs. Um, I'll show you that really quickly. So this particular server um, allows you to um, uh, export VCONs that you're working on, import them into the system, uh, you can uh, you can inspect the VCONs that you know you um, and it's password protected, which will give you that password. Um, uh, allow you to take the the VCON itself and and see what's inside of it. So as so as a as a development uh, uh, help for you, um, analysis dialogue parties, and we have a workbench, which is which is a lot a lot of fun too. Cool. And what the workbench will do for you is. Um, all the VCONs that are in the system, you can add a VCON into the workbench. So here's, you know, um, the VCON that, that I have it loaded right now. I can add that to the input, which is now an input inside um, our system. And then you can configure a prompt that's going to run on that VCON using whatever uh, chat GPT model you want to use. So for instance, this is a VCON conversation between parties. And the user prompt would be summarize this conversation, uh, make it sound like I'm from uh, Leeds. Go UK. Um, you can uh, set the temperature and either the complete VCon, the summary attachment or the transcript attachment. Um, and then once you've configured the prompt, you can then run the analysis for all the VCons you put on the input. Um, this might be a way for you to to, to generate, you know, is your personal information in it or treat it like a string or how, however you, you want to do. So uh, hold on, it's, it does take uh, a couple of minutes because, you know, AI is a thing and they're all, you know, we're, we're <laughs> they're, they're, they're the hamster wheel, I can hear it right here. Yeah, yeah. and I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of saying if it makes sense, like me mom and me dad, me mom and me dad were. <laughs> Maybe, there you go. Oh, it's here to crack. We get to combo between the bloke and the dealership. I oh, see. <laughs> <laughs> that wonderful oh that's so funny wanker all right <laughs> so um so anyways uh this will also be available to you to to, to help uh we're going to be around the whole weekend we're going to be on slack um if you want some help uh be happy to help you uh show us what you got uh this is important work um we really appreciate your your hard work on it
Excellent. Thank you so much, Thomas. This is going to be fun. Take care. Okay, thank you.